All right, well, we just got home from a weekend trip and I thought I would do this while the camper's home and it's not raining. Um, we got the option for the second Max Air fan that's over the bed. So we've got one in the bathroom that came standard on the camper and then we got the extra one over the bed. Um, however, the one over the bed, when it's raining, will drip water around the frame and I'll show you a picture of where it's coming in on mine. Um, so I'm gonna go up to the roof and I'm gonna show you what'll fix it. Let's go on up there and get set up. Okay, here is where the front fan is and I'm gonna show you where it's leaking. Let me get a good shot of this. So there's four pins, two on each side that hold this top cover on, just pull them off. Get the two on the other side off and just lift the cover off. So that exposes your fan. When the dealer installs these things, you can see these little clips when they come through the roof. Water collects in these little things and this is the side mine's leaking on. That's the same way. So here's what we got. Just get a tube of this lap sealant. It's made, this is made by Dicor, but there are others also. And we're just gonna fill in those little cracks. This is great stuff too, if you just wanna, whatever you wanna seal. If you, if you get up here and you notice some of your sealant is cracking, if this, Inspect this at least once a year. Walk around up here and see if there's any cracks. It'll start to separate maybe sometimes around here. Just take a good look at it. You just want to make sure you don't have any of that going on because that's where it's going to start leaking. This will just start going bad. Great stuff about this lap sealant is that it will spread itself out. I'm gonna fill this one little crack I see here around the frame. And I'm gonna do these other side, this other side as well once we're since we're up here. Notice that stuff is just spreading itself out. It's really cool kind of stuff. Okay, we're just gonna let that do its thing. Don't mess with it. Just let it spread out on its own. It will fill the cracks. And I'm not gonna put these clips on quite yet. While this is settling, I'm gonna show you one other spot up here that I wanna take a look at. So do some inspection while you're up here around the feet. And then here's a Wi-Fi Ranger. Came with this unit. I'll tell you what, a lot of people have complained that they're getting water microwave over the microwave I haven't had the leak yet but you can see a lot of people have been covering these up these little screw holes they're either not tight or they're leaking a little bit so while I'm up here let's just stick some on there it's not gonna hurt if you need to it's just like rubber you just pull it back off again Maybe protect the screw a little bit too at the same time.
sure enough, you're going to have this thing stored for the winter and come back and find it's been leaking all winter long. That is not a surprise you want to come back to. All right, I think there's one more around this other side. as you open this tube and you can't really seal it up very easy. So you're sealing while you're up here and let's get this over with. You can see how it's smoothing out. Look at this. This lap cylinder is really nice. Look at it just spreads itself out. Makes a nice thin smooth coating. I like it. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. That's exactly what they use up here too. So while I'm up here, I'm gonna do this other one too. I haven't had any leaks out of the back one over the bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And uh, that's about it. The other area I've had problems is the skylight. I had another camper that was leaking around the skylight and it, exactly what had happened is this sealant had just started cracking keep an eye on it. I know it stinks to get up in your roof all the time, but it's totally worth it. Y'all have a good day.